Yes, good afternoon, Prime Minister. Good afternoon, everybody in the listening. Um, as the Prime Minister indicated, uh, activity at Supra changed um, significantly early this morning with the onset of what we call tremor activity. Um, and tremor at a volcano, you can think of it as simply that the volcano is shaking throughout the day. Um, and you've had, I believe, seven, six, six years of tremor interspersed by about two hours, two and a half hours. The significant thing that's changed since the last briefing, though, is that the last period of tremor was accompanied um, by periods of venting, gas venting, significant um, pulsing at the volcano, where it looks clearly like if it's, you know, for want of a better word, it looks like it's trying to clear its throat. Um, so it indicates to us that we can have an uh, um, explosion, and, and at this point, we cannot say for sure and cannot give any further clear warning that any nothing would happen within the next 24 um, to 48 hours. So therefore, when we brief the Prime Minister, what to say that, you know, there's no further warning we expect. And therefore, to guarantee safety of people, he needs to take, you know, it's, it's best to take certain decisions. Um, so right now, we would not be surprised, for example, if sometime between the next 24 to 48 hours, there are explosions from the volcano um, that are much more significant than we have seen so far. The pulsing is one thing, but explosions is different. So we, we seem to be clearly heading into something that might be explosive, and therefore we need to take necessary actions to safeguard life and limb. That's all I have to say. If there's any questions, I'm here to answer those. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Robertson. Having received that report earlier, and Michelle Forbes also received that report, Michelle Forbes, the director of NEMO, tendered the advice to me relevant to the order I'm about to make. Acting on the advice of the director of the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, and pursuant to sections 33 and 40 of the National Emergency and Disaster Management Act, cha Chapter 88 of the Laws of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I hereby order as follows. One, the evacuation of all premises in the areas designated as the red zone on the northeast and northwest of St. Vincent and the evacuation of the area itself.